Since 1981, Dr. Roy P. has been exploring how information technologies can support and advance the scientific understanding and practices of learning and teaching, with particular focus on topics in science, mathematics, and technology education. Dr. Roy P. is the director of the Ph.D. program in Learning Sciences and Technology Design at Stanford Graduate School of Education. He is also the co-founder and director of the H-Star Institute, which is the Human Sciences and Technologies Advanced Research Institute. It is a Stanford interdisciplinary research center focusing on people and technology, how people use technology, how to better design technology to make it more usable and more competitive in the marketplace, how technology affects people's lives, and the innovative use of technologies in research, education, art, business, commerce, entertainment, communication, national security, and other walks of life. Among the large, complex global problems that are at the heart of the H-Star research agendas are reducing the complexity of technology, closing digital divides, accelerating innovation, and solving security and trust problems. Dr. P's doctorate is in developmental psychology from the University of Oxford, England, where he was a Rhodes Scholar. Dr. P has received tens of millions of dollars in grants and professional activities in a list too long to mention here. Dr. P's research activities include being co-pi leadership of the Life Center, learning in informal and formal environments, examining how informal and formal learning can be better understood and connected, developing the diver paradigm for everyday networked video interactions for learning and communications and research and development to support mobile science inquiry. One of the innovations Dr. P has developed is Diver, or Digital Interactive Video Exploration and Reflection. Diver offers a unique experience in interactive video learning by allowing the user an infinite points of view and commentary from a single video recording. This is achieved by offering a full 360 degree view within the video and gives the user a chance to focus on specific points of interest and comment on them. This addresses one of the core issues with the current interactive video for education. For any given event, there are potentially an infinite number of different perspectives. Currently, we have the selective capture problem. You are limited to the field of view of the camera and are unaware of anything happening outside of that view. For example, right now all you can see is me in this video and have no idea who else is around behind the camera. For all you know, it could be the Swedish bikini team. With Diver, as shown here, I have the opportunity to look at anything I find interesting without constraint and then comment on them. To quote Dr. P, The Diver Project at Stanford, we have developed a new paradigm that makes it easy for a user to control a virtual camera window with a computer mouse on a computer screen to pan and zoom so as to point to the parts of the video that are of interest to the user as the video is playing. Then make text annotations about the video being pointed to and publish them on the web so that others can experience such points of view, comment upon them, and produce their own dives into the content. Every diver user, whether a teacher, researcher, or learner, can thus express their unique visual and interpretive points of view on what they believe is happening in the video. We call this guided noticing and it provides an important new tool that can be used for one, helping teachers and other experts share their expertise in viewing and reflecting on video content with learners, two, for collaborative learning using video among either students or teachers, three, for learning researchers to develop deeper explanations of learning and teaching interactions, and four, for teacher educators and mentors to help guide improvements in a new teacher's practices. This is just one of a myriad of projects Dr. P has been involved with. His Life Center project is another example. Dr. P's leadership and contributions to the Life Center, learning in informal and formal environments, has been vast. Here are some of his reports that he has been the chief investigator and organizer of. The impacts of media multitasking on children's learning and development. And fostering learning in a networked world, the cyber learning opportunity and challenge. Here's a few quotes from these works. Media multitasking is changing childhood and changing the workplace. Both present challenges that schools have yet to meet. To P, today's multitaskers are always elsewhere. They are continuously distracted from the physical presence of the here and now. My observation. Has anyone noticed this in your classrooms? On a more philosophical note, Roy P. asks where the values and norms that control our world come from. 
we are called upon to adapt to a buzzing, distracting world of 24-7 multitasking. But there may be a need to push back rather than to hop on board. Consider the long-term effects of commercial exploitation, a new tailorism. Consider personalized attention marketing from media and advertising designed to be intensely customized to your data on histories of web browsing and media use. Projecting our current trends, P suggests that we may be heading towards a world in which individuals are always elsewhere, always distracted or distractible from the social and physical presence of the here and now to a more appealing attentional target. From fostering learning in a networked world, it was stated, Cyber learning has the potential to transform education throughout a lifetime, enabling customized interaction with diverse learning materials on any topic. Learning does not stop with K-12 or higher education. Cyber learning supports continuous education at any age. Widespread access to technology, increasingly sophisticated tools, and advances in understanding how individuals learn combine to provide a stunning opportunity to transform education worldwide. We call for research, development, and proof-of-concept studies to tackle this massive challenge, to marshal energies from diverse communities, and to establish a vision for the future. To further explore his lecture, Learning in a Network World, from 2008, he elaborated on the then young, underdeveloped technologies like cloud computing, smart mobiles, and participatory media culture, which were starting to impact our society in both education and business. He states that there is an unprecedented need for adaptive expertise as technologies were rapidly changing the requirements for success at work and full participation in society. The technologies were offering a dramatically new learning environment that gave the ability to create unprecedented opportunities for transformative advances. One vision he detailed was, imagine in the year 2015, a girl who has grown up in the world where education is as accessible at home as it is in the classroom and digital content is as real to her as paper, lab equipment, or textbooks. He goes on to say that it is possible to develop a curriculum where the student has access to virtual labs, social learning opportunities, and seamless access to assignments and mobile tools. The teacher can track her progress and guide her through specific areas of difficulty while she continuously builds a lifelong digital portfolio. As the infrastructure continues to come online, these things are becoming more and more ubiquitous in our culture, and Dr. P has dedicated much of his career to understanding and exploring how to integrate these developments into our society. Dr. P is also co-founding director of Cogetto.com, which is transforming the way people capture and share video on the web by creating cameras that see the world around them and a web platform to let people share these experiences. Check out this video demo. As you can see, Dr. P's work is extensive, cross-disciplinary, and very current, which makes it difficult to distill into a short presentation. Dr. Roy P is truly a visionary.